My name's Andrew Haveron, and normally I am the concertmaster of the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, and I am the soloist in the Brahms Violin Concerto with the Karingai Philharmonic at their 50th anniversary concert. I was delighted when I received the invitation to perform with the Karingai Philharmonic. Um, community orchestras are so important. Um, I mean, without community orchestras, there would be no professional orchestras. I'm so aware that the job, I, my day job in the Sydney Symphony is a privileged one. And it comes from a love of music in the community. And without that community, there would be no professionals to, to, to do it. And we need to, uh, to look after and, and treasure our community orchestras and choirs and, and any ensembles um, where people make music for fun. I mean, that's the most important thing. So I was delighted to be able to step in for Grace Clifford, who is absolutely fabulous violinist, and I love uh, listening to her play. Um, and I'm so excited to see how her career blossoming. Um, you know, Australia should be really proud of, of, of her. She's fabulous, but unfortunately she's had to withdraw. Um, and of course, I'm delighted to be, uh, to be invited instead, being another Karingai resident, um, keeping it in the, in the local area. Um, and the Brahms Violin Concerto, I mean, it's, it's, you know, top five violin concertos ever written. One of the, I mean, if not the top two, I don't, you know, it, it's a fabulous, fabulous piece. It does everything you could possibly want from a violin concerto, from Brahms, from, um, you know, it's got beautiful melodies, it's really challenging to perform. It's got the great uh, side of it where he's trying to describe the character of the soloist he wrote it for, Joseph Joachim, who was Hungarian. So it's got that strict formal German satisfying structure and organization, but it's got that flair of, of passion and uh, you know a, a bit of Hungarian panache as well. So what's not to love? <laughs> Having grown up in the UK and uh, started my career in London and frequently traveling around Europe, um, which is obviously such an easy thing to do when you're only an hour away, um, I of course have uh, I enjoyed that time of my life and uh, you know it was uh, such an inspiring and, and uh, great to be in, in the heart of the homeland of classical music. Um, but it's, for me, having moved here and living, lived here now in, in Australia, in Sydney for eight years, um, I thoroughly enjoy working with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. I, I, I think I have the, the best job in the country. I mean, I, I love the orchestra. I love what, there's such an enthusiastic bunch of people. We, you know, everybody wants to come to work. Everybody wants to give great concerts. And of course, um, under normal circumstances, working at the Opera House is, I mean, what, what more could you want? Um, it's a, a, a stunning, iconic venue. We all know that, you know, and uh, it's a privilege to call it my office. Um, but I also get to play in lots of lovely uh, festivals around the country. Um, I've been to... Uh, Bendigo already this year and played in the Chamber Music Festival there. I've been to uh, Eucaria in the Adelaide Hills and performed there. I'm going to the Adelaide Festival next week um, and, uh, and so on. You know, when I, when I can fit it in, I get to perform in lots of beautiful smaller venues, um, which isn't the kind of work that wouldn't necessarily have come my way if I'd stayed in London. There are so many 
people who can do that kind of work or this kind of work, you get pigeonholed a little bit more because there are so many people available to, uh, you know, competing for the same work. So I'm very privileged here that um, my, uh, my job title uh, and, uh, and hopefully uh, my reputation um, uh, means that I get invited to, to do these other lovely things. So I'm, I'm, my diary is full of, of, uh, of really exciting things all the time. So I, I, um, there, there is, you know, uh, everything to wake up for. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, I was very, very lucky uh, about five years ago um, to, to meet this wonderful lady who wanted to invest in uh, a beautiful old, old violin and specifically for, for me to play. And, but she didn't have a particular violin in mind, so I was uh, tasked with going shopping. <laughs> it was quite a shopping trip, I can tell you. Um, and looking and sourcing, you know, the, the, the best violin for her to invest in and, and, of course, the one I wanted to play on. And um, to cut a long story short, that the, the, the one that I now play was the very first one that I tried on that shopping trip. And I wasn't even necessarily planning on buying one on, in, in that first trip that I made to, to, to London, as it happens, to start my search. And this was the first violin I picked up, and I thought, well, if they're all going to be like this, this is going to be really difficult. And they were kind of, they all were as, as good, as strong, as, as, as commendable, shall we say. But I kept on coming back to this one um, because it just spoke to me specifically with the kind of sound I want to make as a violinist, which may not be the same as other violinists. I have a, a particular sort of inspiration from older, uh, older style of playing from the, 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 you know, the 1940s, 50s, that sort of thing. And, and this violin responded to, to that. Um, I've described it before, and I will continue to describe it, as this, the sound of this particular instrument as being like that perfect uh, Italian tomato. You know, it's sweet, it's good for you, it can only have come from beautiful sunshine, you know, and, and it, it makes so many beautiful dishes, you know, and beautiful food, to, you know, that you can do with this, this perfect tomato. Uh, and, and yeah, so for me, it's just the, the sweetness of the sound that it has, um, that it's capable of, if that's what you're looking for, it can do all sorts of other things too, but it's just, it just has that extra little sh shine and shimmer of, of, a, of, of soprano sweetness that I, that I love.